This fall, Colorado voters may get to decide whether to change how elections work in our state. Elections about elections, basically. Denver 7's Brandon Richard shows us how a ballot initiative would change both primaries and general elections and give voters a chance to rank their candidates. Like many voters, Stevie Rash felt he no longer had a voice in the major two-party system. A majority of Americans feel our democracy is in crisis. Last year, he started his own minor political party, the Center Party. The two major parties aren't representing the majority of voters in the middle. This year, he's not only running for state house, He's lending his support to a ballot initiative led by businessman and political activist Kent Theory. It would allow all candidates, regardless of party, to run in a single primary. The top four finishers would advance to the general election, where voters would use ranked choice voting to pick the winner. With ranked choice voting, voters vote for their candidate by preference. A candidate needs at least 50 percent, a majority, in order to be declared the winner. If no candidate receives 50 percent, then the candidate that received the fewest number of votes is eliminated. And the people who voted for that particular candidate, well, their votes are still counted. It just goes to their second choice. And this process continues to play out until someone gets at least 50 percent. So I think this provides a more fair system, a more accessible system. Amber McReynolds, a former elections official, says changing Colorado's primary system would empower voters by giving them more choices and leading to better representation. And so I think it actually strengthens the primary. Um, it will likely increase participation. Monday, supporters of the initiative kicked off their signature gathering process. If the initiative makes November's ballot and is approved by voters, it wouldn't be implemented as soon as originally thought. I really think this ballot measure is a solution in search of a problem. State Representative Emily Sirota was able to get an amendment passed that would require ranked choice voting elections to be run in several different communities before it could be done at the state level. It could take several years, but she says this will give voters time to understand the process. Um, it's really a very reasonable thing to do. Regardless, supporters of the initiative are moving forward, and they must collect 124,000 signatures by August to make November's ballot. In Denver, Brandon Richard, Denver 7. Now, a handful of communities in Colorado already have ranked choice voting, including Boulder, which used that system to select its mayor last year. In 2022, voters in Fort Collins also approved ranked choice voting for its city elections. That's starting in 2025. Now, we have 360 in-depth coverage on the possibility of adopting ranked choice voting in Colorado. You can find more from supporters and opponents of the potential change. That's up right now on Denver7.com slash 360.